welcome to placement zero this video is about coding and decoding which is a part of verbal resume so what is coding and decoding it is just like encryption decryption which you study in your computers and networks and all so here what happens is in this type the real alphabets are replaced by some other alpha alphabets to a specific form that is it has some logic when one word is replaced with another word it has some logic in it and based on that they replace so you have to find the common rule and apply it to the next one let's see a few examples which will make you even more clear so here we have if friend is coded as h-u-m-j-t-k how can candle be written in that code so we have to find the relationship between these words and sorry these letters and these letters then you will get a format of which you should apply it to this number sorry to this word and you should find which of these is correct okay so here we have friend that is f here f goes to h sorry f is replaced by h r is replaced by u i m e and j n and t t and k okay so now let's see the logic here so between f and h there is only one word that is g okay similarly between r and u there are two words okay so here it is one word and here it is two word and the next it is three and then this is that is e to j it is four and n to t it is five and d to k it is six okay so comparing sorry comparing the first two words that is friend to the given uh, coded word it shows that it gradually increases with the difference in one, from one to six okay similarly when you apply this rule to candle after c if you leave one word then it is e okay it is e and after a two words when you leave it is d and after n three words if you leave it is r and after d four words it is l h i and l five words it is r and after e six words it is again l so your coded form of candle will be e d r l sorry i r and l okay so your option c is the right answer clear so like this it will have one particular logic flowing throughout the letters so you have to find what is the logic and apply to the next okay that is one form this is the other it can also be in this form for example here if pale is coded as 2134 earth is coded as 41590 how can pearl be coded in that language okay so uh, for pale they are given one number for earth we are, they are given one number so first what you have to do is there will be some similarities between both words so you have to take the similarities when you write pale and you write the number the encrypted number it is 2134 and write earth and write the coded number it is 4150 so if you could see in both the uh, in in both the words e is given 4 and a is given 1 okay only these two are common from both the words so which means p is represented by number 2 a is represented by number 1 l by number 3 e by number 4 okay similarly here e and a are common so r by number 5 t by number 9 and h by number 0 so when you have to code this word pearl for for p we already know it is 2 and for e it is 4 and for a it is 1 and for r it is again 5 
and for L it is 3. Okay. So your answer will be 24153. This can also be given. This also comes under coding and decode. Next. So there can also be a sentence given and based on that they can ask you to do the coding. The next question. If B quick is coded as Z C O S G A I, then the code of the last letter of the third word in the sentence I love my country is. So first you have to find what is the third word and the last letter of the sequence. So it is I love my country in that the third word is my and the last letter of the third word is Y. So you have to find what can Y be coded as. Comparing the first two that is B quick and Z C O S G A I we have to come to a conclusion only then that rule can be applied. So just leave the first letter that is Z and B. Take the second letter E and C. So C is two, two steps ahead of E. And apply the same rule to the next. Again O is two steps ahead of Q. Okay. So like that, the similarly if you apply from the coded word to the original word, all the coded words are two steps ahead of the original word. Applying a similar rule to this thing, if you could apply I for I. So if I is there, what is the two steps ahead of I? It is G and H. So it is G, H, I. So G is two steps ahead of I. So first is G. Similarly applying the same rule to the whole pattern, you will get this thing. Okay. And our, our question is, what is the last letter of the third word? So the last letter of the third word is Y. How can Y be coded? Coming to this, we find Y can be coded as W. So the W is your answer. Clear? So this is called coding and decoding. Thanks for watching.